It's good to see you again, Miss Fox. Are you ready to begin? Today, I am wondering about different ways to see numbers to five. But before we get started, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea and I'll meet you at my desk. For this first activity today, I want you to pay close attention to my animals. Let's take a look. How many animals do you see? One, two, three, four, five. And they're all in a straight line. Now take a look at my animals. Now what do you see? Are they in a straight line anymore? No. Does it look like I have more animals? Yeah, it does. Aren't they spread farther apart? But how many animals do I have? One, two, three, four, five. My number didn't change. Even though my animals are spaced differently, the number stays the same. Let's try it one more time. Watch this. Now what do you see? Does it look like I have more or less animals? It looks a little bit less because it's so scrunched together. But did the number of my animals change? Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. No, they didn't. Just because they're spaced differently, they may look different, but did the number change? No, it stayed the same. Good job paying attention to my animals. Now let's get ready for our next activity. For this activity, we're going to play a little game and I need you to grab four Unifix cubes. I have mine and I'm going to stack them together. Stack yours together in a tower. Your colors don't have to match mine either. Now for this game, I have my tower. Do you have yours? Let's put our tower behind our backs and we're going to break it apart. We're going to separate the cubes in one spot. And then we will compare if our cubes look the same. Ready? When I get to three, let's break them apart. One, two, three, break. Bring your cubes to the front and let's take a look. Did you break your cubes in the same spot as mine? My cubes are in two towers of two. Your cubes may look the same as mine or it could be different, but let's count how many cubes we're using. One, two, three, four. I have four. Do you still have four? Good. Let's do it again. Stack your cubes together. Put it behind your back. And when I say three, we're going to break them apart in a new way. Ready? One, two, three. Break them apart and bring them to the front. Here's what my cubes look like. What do yours look like? This time I have one cube by itself and three cubes together. Does yours look like mine? How many cubes do you have? Let's count mine. One, two, three, four. I still have four cubes but they sure look different than what we did before. 
Let's try it one more time. Snap your cubes together, put it behind your back, and let's see what we come up with. One, two, three, break. Oh, what does your towers look like? I did the opposite. Now I have three cubes on the left and one cube on the right. How many cubes am I still using? Four. I have four cubes, but I've showed them to you three different ways. My objects may look different, but my numbers stay the same. For our next part, it's time to work in our book at the Look and Talk. Turn to lesson 2.7 and then we'll get started. Great, you're there. Let's look at the picture. Can you tell your teacher what you see on our page? Oh, I see sea animals. Do you see all the sea animals on the top page? How many are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Great. How much is on the bottom page? How many animals do you see on the bottom plate? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. What can you say about our two plates of animals? You're right. They have the exact same number. Now, let's think, how is the top plate different than the bottom plate? Can you tell your teacher how they are different? What did you come up with? I see that the top plate is bigger and the animals are spread out farther. What about the bottom plate? Did you say it was smaller and the animals are closer together? Yes. But did the number of animals change? No, the top plate and the bottom plate have the same number of animals. Just like before, even though our objects may look differently, the number stays the same. Good job, everyone. What did you think of all of our math activities today, Miss Fox? Was it hard or easy to see all of those numbers in different ways? How about you? Today, when we began, I was wondering about all of the different ways to see numbers to five. But I'm really curious. What do you wonder? See you next time.